Hey, what's going on guys? It's Marty. Welcome to another video of Minecraft. So now guys, I want to show you how to make the glistering melon and what to use it for. And I want to show you the new uh, use for the gunpowder. So first of all, I need to get downstairs to my newly built lab. And as you can see, somehow I've got a chicken in my house. <laughs> Okay, uh, so to make your glistering melon, what you need is some melon slices and some gold nuggets. And this is how you make it. It doesn't really matter where you place your gold nuggets or where you place the melon. Uh, you can still get the glistering melon. And uh, I did actually try to make it with uh, the whole melon itself, but it doesn't really work. You can't turn a melon into like a sort of glistering whole melon or something like this. It doesn't really work. Okay, um, now I want to show you the next use for the glistering melon. Um, what you could use it for, actually, I need an awkward potion first. Okay, first of all, uh, while I'm cooking the awkward potion, I want to make a mundane potion. If you place your glistering melon with a just a standard bottle of water, you make a mundane potion, which I'm going to show you in a moment what I'm going to be using it for. And here I want to make my awkward potion. To make the awkward potion, you need a nether wart and a bottle of water as well. Okay, just place a water here and a nether wart. You could do three at a time as well, but I only need one now. So I think this one, it's done. I want to leave it here for a second. Oh yeah, actually, I've got an awkward potion here. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, let's just put this one in here. And uh, put a slice of melon or glistering melon. And it would take about 10 to 15 seconds for the whole thing to, to brew. So just need to be patient, really. And this one is nearly done. I don't think I need it anymore. I've already, yeah, I've already got one. Okay, I want to show you now what you could do with the mundane potion and uh, the gunpowder. So just place one gunpowder, and you could do three at a time. But I'm only, you know, going to do one now just because I want to show you how to use it. And uh, yeah, this is the new use for the gunpowder now, which I'm really happy about this. Okay, and you, as you can see, uh, the awkward potion with a glistering melon would make you now the potion of healing. So now there's two ways of making the potion of healing. One is using the glazed powder, and another is using the glistering melon, which is good. Okay, and this one is nearly done. Actually, while this one is still brewing, I want to show you as well what you could do with a potion of healing with a gunpowder. Okay, uh, let's see what happens. This one, oh, this one is done. As you can see now, it's mundane splash potion. Uh, so I'm going to show you now what you could do with it in a moment. Uh, while this one, okay, this one is getting cooked. So if you just hold your uh, potion and right click, it would actually splash and give you this sort of like nice. Um, yeah, this sort of like nice swirl effect. So interesting. This is now what you could do with it, just for fun, really. Okay, let's see now what happened to this one. As you can see, the healing potion is turned into splash potion of healing. It will still work as normal healing potion, but you could actually throw it as well and get similar effect to the other one. But this one has got this sort of like star flashing sort of thing. Okay, and this is that you use for the glistering and how to make them, and then you use for the gunpowder. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to like and uh, favor this video. And I'll see you guys later. Take care and bye bye.